big hello from India. I feel sad that I am not in the same room as you all are to have this conversation in person, but also marveling and feeling grateful at the power of the technology that we have, that we can all be connected in this moment, despite uh, the time, distance and space between us. Um, I've been thinking about what to foreground this conversation on because uh, you ask a filmmaker to talk about their film and then it's going to be hard to shut them up. Uh, I think uh, what what I found extremely resonant was the theme of the festival that centers its attention on people and power and community, um, which is has been also um, uh, a major focus in my own work as a filmmaker for over a decade here in India and is also something that sits at the heart of Writing With Fire. Um, my co-director, co-producer, co-editor um, and partner in life, Sushmit and I made Writing With Fire um, in a long uh, five-year journey uh, and what really um, brought us to the film was this idea of um, a group of women in a very small part of rural India coming together to create a newspaper. Um, women from marginalized communities who are um, not supposed to have a voice, who are denied an identity, whose intelligence and intellect are not appreciated, um, are, are not supposed to be um, assets. And, and uh, these, these women um, surpassing all those systemic um, oppressive um, spaces, ideas and saying, hey, my time is here, my story matters, my life matters. And so I'm going to use the power of words and voices to not only tell my story, but also the story of others. And um, in our work as documentary filmmakers in India, that has that space has always been very uh, meaningful for for Sushpit and I, and and because we're we're interested in seeing when there's no hope, when no one's really cheering you on, when nobody believes in you, what is it that pushes you forward? What is it that that you see in yourself, and how do you reach that? there to to really um, make every day a meaningful one and that is a big learning for all those of us who are invested in this idea of change um, because it just feels like the world is crumbling around us um, we, are, we are actually living through an extremely fractured world and uh, where, the, where the idea of future is hard to gr totally grasp at and so what do we have in our arsenal to um, make meaning of it? And uh, uh, the, the beginning of making this film was really this exploration. Um, we were invited to a meeting uh, by the journalists once we expressed our desire to, to just film some a few days with them. And in that meeting, when they were discussing a sort of pivot from print to digital, it just felt like it could be a conversation that a group of journalists could be having in any broadsheet in the world. We could be in the office of the Washington Post uh, or the Guardian and the journalists would be having the same conversation, except that this was happening in the attic of rural India. Uh, that kind of intelli intelligence, intellect, uh, wit and and that that energy to, to soldier on when no one's really expecting you to to win is what is 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 the change that that is extremely empowering for me behind the lens and that is the sole reason um why um i embarked on a half a decade journey to make this film at that time we didn't know we thought that maybe it'll be two years but the story sort of grew uh, and took a shape of its own um, and we've had mostly uh, when the film premiered at Sundance in the January of 2021 and won two awards, it just uh, galloped into the world, um, a journey that even after two years, the film continues to have. Um, all this to say that 
what I've heard generally after people watch the film is that they that they go home inspired, that they they respond to the film in an emotional way, um, and I think that is the power of storytelling that it it brings you out of your own body and reality, um, and and makes you connected with another person and their realities, um, and in and and form a real relationship. And um, while watching the film and going through these emotions, I hope you don't forget that many of us in front of the camera and behind the camera have staked a lot um, to bring you this story. Uh, we're living in a democracy that is um, getting hollowed out from within um, on an everyday basis. And so as journalists, as change makers, as photojournalists, as photographers, as filmmakers, um, let's never ever take our freedoms for granted. Let's never ever take the spaces that give us the opportunity to express ourselves for granted because a lot can change very quickly. And um, may this also inspire all of us to become the voice of those who exist on the margins um, and uh, from a place of privilege, um, we f maybe find reasons to to um, fight gently, cautiously, but strongly. And um, I actually want to want as a food of thought put out there a quote that I absolutely love and I feel is relevant to this conversation by Terry Tempest Williams. And I'm going to read it because I don't want to misquote it. Uh, Terry says, the eyes of the future are looking back at us and they're praying for us to see beyond our own time. And I think this film, for me, is a response to the reality, the political, social, cultural, religious reality that is changing in my country at this particular moment in time. And to be able to share that reality with you all is extremely meaningful for me. And um, I hope uh, that you enjoy the watch and come out of the film um, more strong in, in um, your spirit and not to forget that the eyes of the future are looking at us. Have a great watching experience. Thank you so much.